Welcome back to MT's Corner with Maisha Tierra, where we discuss everything involving acting. Make sure you like, comment, and share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be there every single time I post a new video. So, the Emmy nominations came out at the end of July, and I was super excited. There were so many black people nominated, and they definitely deserved it. However, while I'm cheering for these hardworking black actors, it became a bit of a shit show. Out of nowhere. From the black versus brown actors, which is a video I have coming up for you all, to the most recently, Bill Porter versus the rest of the Pose cast. And that is what I'll be discussing today. Now, if you don't know, Pose is an amazing show that showcases the LGBTQ plus black and brown community, especially the black and brown trans community and what they go through as well as the ballroom scene. If you don't know what I'm talking about and it all sounds foreign to you, I would honestly advise you to go watch Paris is Burning. As far as all of y'all not walking, please realize that we all at one time or another have lusted to walk a ballroom floor. So give the patrons and the contestants, you know, a round of applause for nerves. Those balls are more or less like our fantasy of being a superstar. You know, like the Oscars or whatever, or being on a runway as a model. You know, a lot of those kids that are in the balls, they don't have two of nothing. Some of them don't even eat. They come to balls starving, and they sleep in the under 21, or they sleep on the pier, or wherever. They don't have a home to go to, but they'll make, they'll go out and they'll steal something and get dressed up and come to a ball for that one night. And, and the musical, Leave It On The Floor. It's the ballroom place. Everybody move it, like you're about to lose it. Shake your butt now, little bit on the floor now. Take a step from mama, matter with your drama. No period, no comma. Leave it on the floor. Leave it on Ladies the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, Leave the Los Angeles the ballroom scene Leave is back. The, the runway Leave is on. on the floor. For more research. Then go watch Pose because these actors kill it every episode. Now in the midst of nominations it was made clear that the cast of Pose weren't even considered for the second year in a row except for the sex gender Bill Porter. If you don't know what sex gender means it means people who identify as the sex they were born as. After being nominated for the second year in a row a clip resurfaced of his 2019 Emmy win. Check this out. Is it bittersweet for you to know that this win is amazing and historic but the women from Pose were kind of ignored. They weren't nominated. Uh, I don't live in bitter, I don't live in bittersweet. I live in the present. I live in the positive. The fact that we're in the building, the fact that we're in the building, is the point, right? Mm -hmm. We're in the building. The world has changed. Period. That's where we are. And now we got another season. And now they'll get their shot. And no matter which way you look at it, his response can be seen as a double-edged sword. The internet had no problem speaking their opinion on the matter, of course. Never forget that hashtag Bill Porter won the Emmy for season one of Pose on Fox. And when asked how he feels about the largely trans cast being snubbed, he essentially said, the trans-ish ain't my problem. I'm cis and gay. If I just got mine, they can wait until the next season to get theirs. They shouldn't have to wait their turn as if privilege is the natural order of things. Call out your privilege, don't embrace it. Hashtag Billy Porter, hashtag Pose. Then even India Moore, who's one of the actresses on Pose, stepped into the room after she was subtweeted on Twitter. A person said to her at India Moore, I really need you to address this. I follow you the closest of all your co-stars and I'd really like to hear what you have to say about how Billy has addressed the representation of your community. And India had this to say. For now, I'll say that I'm not responsible for the ways Billy or any other cis man or person failed to represent acknowledge or directly support me and the other incredible and brilliant trans talent on our show. I'm also hurt and disappointed, have been for a while. So when will the LGBTQ plus community gonna start being vocal about the misogyny that run fit through the community? And I don't know, maybe set bathroom PC to the side, hashtag Billy Porter, hashtag Emmys 2020. Black trans women are the blueprint of the entire LGBTQIA plus community. They always have been and always will be end of it genuinely baffles me that people see a show like pose that is so transformative woke and magical and rightly so deserving of any nominations yet the world cannot recognize the sheer talent 
value and passion these incredible black trans women or plain black trans women. This doesn't happen. Hollywood would often rather cast a cis person of the opposite gender to play a trans person, which is not only disrespectful, but absolutely vile in how that allows the world to perceive trans people and direct contributes to the continued violence against trans people. If you haven't seen Pose, you must be living under a very comfortable age rock, and I urge you to watch it. As a little geeky brown kid, I never saw people like me in shows and movies that had main storylines that weren't essentially killed off or had no personality. I'm glad that I live in a time now where I do have these roles, but this world still needs to change. It may not be trendy, but in case you forgot, black lives still matter, black trans lives still matter. We are here living despite being in a world that often sees us as invisible. We belong. Now, I can agree with all of their statements to an extent. Do I think that trans people are erased in the arts? Absolutely. I just posted a video about that very thing when Halle Berry finally turned down a trans role after Backlash. They should play themselves, and if you know anything about me by now, you know that representation matters all day on my channel. Now, black actors had a record-breaking number of nominations, over 32. However, I do believe that may have to do with the times we are in with the Black Lives Matter marches and such. I think if they did what they normally do often, which is give a few you nod to the BIPOC, and if you don't know what that means, it's Black, Indigenous, and People of Color group, and call it a day, it would have been tone deaf, and the backlash would have been even stronger than it has been in the past. Now, one person online brought up a good point. They said, y'all need to redirect your anger from hashtag Billy Porter and focus it on the white people who choose the nominees. Yeah, Billy was a little childish, but he cannot do anything to change their decision. People often put all the onus on the actors themselves for not taking a stand when honestly, some of them are just fighting to get into the door themselves. Now, let's break down how the Emmys actually work. The primetime Emmys are run and voted on by the members of the ATAS. For most categories, members from each of the ATAS branches vote around June to determine the nominees only in their respective categories. All members can, however, vote for the nominations in the best program category. Categories. Now, who can vote for the Emmy Award? The Emmy Award is a symbol of peer recognition. The Academy has over 25,000 members divided into 30 peer groups of specialized fields. The national active members of each peer group vote on the nominees and winners for categories pertaining to their area of specialty. Now, who are the national active members and how do you become one? National active membership. Individuals who at the time of qualifying meet the following minimum requirements. One, are at least 18 years of age. Two, are or have been actively engaged in activities related to the production or distribution of television for national e exhibition during the four immediate preceding years and qualify for admission to one or more of the peer groups or have been nominated for a primetime Emmy Award within the four years immediately preceding their application for membership or have achieved a significant body of work relevant to the peer group that warrants a waiver of the peer group required. Now, from my understanding, the Emmys have the largest amount of voters out of all of the award shows. I could not find an actual list and honey, trust me, I was looking for it to see how many of the members are actually black. However, I did find a list of how many black people have been nominated for Emmys since that apparently is a requirement in the actor category. So there is 162 black actors who have been nominated for Emmys alone. And a lot of these names are repeat. So these people have been nominated for multiple awards, some of them. And then out of that 162 that have been nominated, 59 actually won an Emmy. So if we want to do a little bit of math that will be 36 percent of those actually nominated won an emmy which means in the words of grade testing they got f you know what i'm saying however if i'm just basing that off this number and i'm sure there are more black people than this that are a part of the emmys however we're talking about just the acting category and because they did not give me a more comprehensive list this is what i have to go on at the moment if you know down below and you can have a link to a comprehensive list i want you to link it so that i can see it for myself so i'm I'm looking at 162 members out of the 25,000 that are black actors because they said themselves that one requirement was that you had to actually been nominated already or they qualify for admission to another peer group or their body of work is so great that people don't care that they haven't been nominated for an Emmy they are allowed to join so mine is just basing it off those who've actually been nominated so I would assume that all of them at one point in time all 162 of them were a part of the actual voting committee for the Emmys.
Now, do actors submit themselves for Emmys? Actors and shows have to declare in April whether they're doing a drama or a comedy. They have a discretion to submit themselves as a lead actor or a supporting actor or as a drama series or a limited series. Networks pay up to $500,000 just to get nominated. Racking up Emmy Awards isn't all fun and games. In fact, television networks shell out big bucks just to get their series nominated for a prize. It is estimated that, that each network pays between $150,000 to $500,000 before they even arrive at the ceremony, covering the Television Academy's fees and cost of producing and distributing DVDs, among other things. Now, how much does it cost to submit an Emmy nomination? The fee is $400 per submission. Should the Academy grant you extensions at your request to submit your program or performer after the deadline, a $50 late fee per submission will be automatically added. And last but not least, if you thought you get to walk away with that gold statue for free, well, you thought wrong. Do you have to pay for an Emmy? Winners must pay $400 for their own statue because each trophy costs an estimated $400 to make. The Television Academy often charges extra fees if certain winners, such as large writing teams, want to receive multiple statues. That's right. Everybody who wins the Emmy doesn't actually walk away with a statue if they don't pay that $400 fee. Now, let's look at those who actually make the selections. These people are the chairmen, the governors of the boards, the directors of the boards, the CEOs. These are the people who make the decisions. Now, there are committees. However, these are the people that I found that make the overall decision. Now, if you're seeing what I see, there aren't a lot of BIPOC faces, and I also don't know if any of these people are a part of the LGBTQ+. And the ones that are there, I don't believe that any are in charge of the category actor. So the previous tweet where the person stated that y'all need to redirect your anger from hashtag Billy Porter and focus it on the white people who choose the nominees, their point is very true. Though Billy Porter may or may not have come off childish, what power does he really hold? I believe he could have been taken off guard with the question. After winning an award and thinking people were going to praise you for your hard work, they question you on nominations. Now, I don't have to speak for him because he spoke for himself. He said, it took me a minute to process all the conflicting thoughts I had had about yesterday. A record number of black actors received hashtag Emmy nominations this year, myself included. For that, I am grateful. I've been doing this for a long, long time. It's taken me 30 years to get recognized for my work. If you had told me at 20 that I'd win my first Emmy at 50, that I would win at all would have been inconceivable. But that I would have to wait that long would have been disappointing, frustrating, heartbreaking. I know the pain of being overlooked so well, too well. When I look at my Emmy win last year, I see the exuberant joy in the faces of my hashtag post family. My win is their win. And just as we share in each other's happiness, we all share each other's pain. For me, at Pose on Fox lives as an intersection of art and activism, and that is important to me. But I am keenly aware that for my sisters, it is much, much deeper than that. This is the story of their lives. Now, there were a few people who came to his defense under his comments. Someone said, before I saw the whole Billy Porter thing, and to be honest, people are too sensitive. He said the fact that they were in the building means the fact that we are starting to gain access to Emmys is a start. People just want to wake up and find something to be mad at. Someone else said, why is it always what about me when someone else is doing well? Let him be happy. He won and stop making people feel bad about being proud of themselves. And I somewhat agree with their statements as well. When marginalized people win awards, then definitely the media likes to ask them questions as if these stand for the entirety of a marginalized group and that's just not the case. You can't sit there and, and ask someone who is a cisgender gay man how trans women should feel. He doesn't know how trans women should feel. He's not a trans woman, but he's not the only one that happens to. They do this a lot of times to actors. They'll ask them things that have absolutely nothing to do with them and expect them to speak for these people and be these people's voices when you could have just nominated these folks and heard their voices yourselves. Now, honestly, at this point, I don't know what else Billy can do. If he wins this year in his speech, he should 100% speak on the lack of trans representation representation. However, he may not. And if he does, he may be blackballed. And I don't know if that is something he's willing to do. Everyone doesn't want to be a martyr. That is perfectly fine. We also see the actors win awards and give these big speeches about how everyone is wrong and how the system is wrong. However, these actors are normally way more famous and established in the industry than Billy may be. All I want to know is if we're fighting for this every award show, when will someone actually listen to what is being asked for? Now the Emmys come out September 20th. Let me know if you'll be watching and let me know your thoughts below 
below. Did you know this is how the Emmys work? Do you think Billy Porter could have said more? Do you feel that Pose was snubbed for the second year in a row? I want to know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Y'all stay safe out there, and I'll see you online next time.